The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam has come close to becoming a World Heavyweight Champion on a couple of occasions, but he never got it done. first title defense since winning the World Heavyweight Championship at Survivor Series. Yeah, this match should include Chris Jericho, and it would have if it wasn't for Scott Steiner. I thought you'd bring that up. You've become one big Chris Jericho butt kisser, I gotta tell you. What? had the will to win at Survivor Series. He had the belief that he could reach down into his soul and pull it off and beat anybody in that ring with him. And that's exactly what he did. He beat five other men. Yeah, but you have to admit, Cole, he had an advantage. He didn't have to enter that elimination chamber until very late in the match. He got to sit back and watch a lot of those guys literally beat the hell out of each other. Including Rob Van Dam, who was in that match from the get-go. Rob Van Dam going for it. Looks like Rob Van Dam has got the momentum. We talk a lot about Rob Van Dam's educated feet, but let's not forget Shawn Michaels has educated feet of his own with his sweet chin music. And that move has stopped some of the biggest names in our industry in their tracks, including Bret Hart, Chris Jericho, and Triple H. He unloads a well-structured series of moves. And there's the monkey flip. Here we go with RVD. He saw that one coming. And he hits the drop kick. What impact. Rob Van Dam won a triple threat match here live last week to become the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. And Booker T and Chris Jericho were the other two men in that match. And let's not forget Christian and Scott Steiner interjected themselves into the match. It was pure chaos. But when the smoke cleared, it was Rob Van Dam who walked away with tonight's title opportunity. Shawn Michaels has been a controversial superstar here in WWE ever since the first day he arrived. And what about that little trick he pulled before this match even started when he went into Rob Van Dam's locker room and slapped the taste out of his mouth? That's mind games, King. That's 
good strategy from the veteran from San Antonio, Texas. Mind games? Yes. Controversial? Absolutely. I guess there still is some of the old HBK in Shawn Michaels. That's a move that'll disorient you. Oh, what a knee. What a shot. There's the reversal by Shawn Michaels. Oh, and the knee connects. And here's Rob Van Dam. Shawn Michaels is 2-0 since returning to action back in August at SummerSlam. Yeah, you're right. HBK's record is unblemished since returning. But oh, watch out. What's he going to do here? Bam! Big forearm off the rope from HBK. And a kip up by Shawn Michaels. And Michaels is feeling it. Shawn Michaels is feeling it. Sweet chin music time. Tuning up the band. Here it comes. And now RVD ducks the sweet chin music and hits with his own. And you can hear the fans willing him onward. Shawn Michaels is not liking this. Look. Rob Van Dam. He looks like he's got this. What a completely unbelievable move by Rob Van Dam. He's the guy his opponent. What's he going for here? Hey, Rob Van Dam is a very popular competitor. And not just in his home state of Michigan, as we're learning here in South Carolina. Both of these men are great. Rob Van Dam. Whoa! Five-star frog splash to the back of Shawn Michaels. Can Van Dam capitalize? All he's got to do is turn HBK over, and this should be it. Here we go. Van Dam into the cover. Hooks the leg. Who the heck? Hey! Triple H! What's Triple doing? H is here. Look out! Rolling in this title match with a pedigree to Van Dam. Yeah, but you got to know, this is not about Rob Van Dam. This is the vindictive Triple H going against Ho. Oh. Going after Shawn Michaels. Yeah, Triple H that has been obsessed with the heartbreak kid. Oh, now, wait a minute. Put that down. What? Oh, this is not going to be good. The game with that steel chair in the ring. And look at the way he's eyeing Shawn Michaels. He despises Shawn Michaels. He will not stop at anything until he ends Shawn Michaels' career. Sean is down and out here. Oh, wait. Look at this. Michaels firing back. Big right hand to Triple H. Oh, right back to the midsection for the game. And now the game. Hammering away on Michaels. This is turning into a brawl here. And Michaels never giving up, kick. He's got the heart. He's got the guts. He's got the soul of a champion. Sean Michaels just will not quit. Oh, wait a minute. Look at how he fights. Right through the chair. Oh. When is this going to end?
The following contest is set for one fall, and it is to determine the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, being accompanied by Ric Flair, from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 252 pounds, Triple After Pit Rob Van Dam will make him submit. If the game gets disqualified for violating the rules, Rob Van Dam goes to arm again to be Sean Mike. Making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. It was three months ago tonight on September 2nd that Triple H. back, I didn't think Shawn Michaels would ever return to WWE, but he came back at SummerSlam and beat Triple H in a street fight. Yeah. I never thought Shawn Michaels would get in the Elimination Chamber and fight for the World Heavyweight title, but he did, and I didn't think he could win it. Triple H with a cover on Rob Van Dam, and there's Shawn Michaels, and oh man, Triple H is not going to like that, Kay. You think that was a little slow? You think? <laughs> The game is living. And now Rob Van Dam is it. rolling up Triple H. And, oh! <laughs> a really fast count from Shawn Michaels now on the game. Well, he got a hand it to Shawn Michaels. He's not exactly an impartial referee in this one, is he? In recent weeks, Jake, we've seen some type of relationship forming between Ric Flair and Batista. What do you make of it? Well, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Flair essentially told Batista earlier tonight that he hadn't seen anybody with as much potential as he has in a long, long time. And moments later, Batista went on to make quick work of the hurricane. Well, you gotta wonder what Batista could become under the tutelage of Ric Flair and potentially even the Nature Boy's best friend, Triple H. And this rivalry between Triple H and Shawn Michaels goes well beyond wins and losses. The game is hell-bent on making HBK's life a living hell. And ironically, before this match started, Michaels told Triple H that as long as he has the World Heavyweight Championship, it's the game's life that will be a living hell. Well, it's hard to argue that. Triple H lives for the World Heavyweight Championship. With every fiber of his being, he wants nothing more than to recapture the gold. Rob 
Van Dam, of course, trained by one of the originators of hardcore wrestling, The Sheik. Oh, look at RVD. Here's a reversal. He whips Triple H into the corner. What's RVD going to do here? Oh, big shoulder oh, lock. Right to the gut. And another. Look at this. Oh, Triple H with the clothes on. Whoa, they both ducked. And now RVD off the ropes onto HBK. Woo a jumping corner splash. Now what? Collar and elbow tie up. Under the ring, but this isn't a no disqualification match. He might be trying to get disqualified. Oh, what an impact! Steel against both. The more punishment he takes, the slow. Oh man! Repeated chair shots. Talk about catching a beating. Won this match, but he sure didn't win the fight. 